Okay, this is a audio check. I know probably you're here. Can you hear me fine? Like, is this a good level? The music? I don't know. Okay, thank you.
Hello, good morning, good afternoon. Wait, I just realized I cropped my camera. Wait, let me fix that. Hold, hold. Now it's better, okay. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, it's Valentine's Day, and I don't have a Valentine, so I'm spending it with you guys. Also, can you guys hear me fine? I have the mic set up slightly different, so I might move it a bit closer. I don't know, because I hate when you can like see the mic in frame. You know? See, like I hate that. I hate that. Okay, I'll just. Bump it up a little, I don't know. Okay, so today, since I don't have a date, which I never will because I'm on my incel art, I'm going to make lunch for you guys. I know today is a reminder of being single, yeah. I mean, it's whatever, right? You gotta learn to love yourself first, am I right? Oh my god, hi, Lemon! It's been a while since we've seen you too. Welcome in. Um, I think I don't have my headsets on. I'm just playing it like this. Also, I tried. This is the second camera. If you're following the art channel, you know this camera. It's ass. But I plugged it in this morning and it worked for like five seconds and then it broke. And my computer said I need more drivers. But then when I opened the device manager, it couldn't find the drivers. So. Just one POV today. Um, Janet, we're farming. Any parasocial antics? If you tip me $5, I will eat a chocolate. Peace I to gas. Um, I'm farming because... <laughs> if y'all are following my Twitter, it fucking snowed last night, and I had no idea it was gonna fucking snow. So... And I have, like, two appointments to go to this week, so I'm like, fuck, I hope the buses are running. But, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so today I'm going to make salmon, mashed potatoes, and then chocolate dipped strawberries. That is the menu for today. Um, my goal is to get this done in like an hour, because it'll be like an actual like lunch date. And then as we're cooking, I do have a list of like icebreaker questions, so we can do like a little, a little RP today. Little RP. Does anybody have a Valentine this year? Type one. <laughs> okay, first, first we need to preheat our oven. I usually bake my salmon at 425. Because I like a quick and a high bake. Okay, so that's started. That's ready. Okay. Uh, this, this isn't going to leak. I just have fresh, never frozen salmon. But when I went to the store this morning, they had some of these in the fucking frozen section. <laughs> so, they're clickbaiting. I don't know. Okay, so let's get it started. Um, this is just gonna be for me and Jack, but this is what I'm also making dinner for the rest of the kiddos in the house, so I'll make that after stream now. Now what I love about fish is that it's so easy to make. Salmon is so hard to make good. No! It's literally so easy. You just have to, if possible, get a fresh cut. Frozen isn't gonna nearly taste as rich. And you just have to make sure you don't overbake it. That's the big thing. Let me know how it tastes. Um, it's very unique. You never had sushi, huh? Huh? Okay. So I'm only cooking for myself and Shaft, but since you guys can't actually eat, I'm not gonna like 
wear gloves unless I need to. I usually wear gloves for like sensory reasons, like I hate touching raw food and just in general it's not sanitary, right? So, wash my hands. gloves to wash dishes really I used to wear like the rubber reusable gloves for dishes but it's hard when I can't like feel because those rubber gloves are too thick I can't reach my trash can because the camera cord is blocking the way now this package has two salmon fillets in it I'm gonna season them slightly differently the thing that I like about fish is that they're all pretty flavorful on their own, so you don't necessarily need to over-season too much. I've been told that I under-season, but that's because I just like the taste of actual fish. I can understand why some people, like in cooking videos, will handle raw meat with their bare hands. Because I can only imagine, like how cross-contaminated their kitchens are, you know? As with most fish, you're gonna wanna bake it skin side down. I know a lot of people think fish stinks, but I kinda like the smell. Yeah, I think we've done two or three of Mori streams so far. They are published in my Twitch video section and on my YouTube VOD channel. So we have our two fillets. I think we'll do one with just regular salt and pepper, you know, the basics. <laughs> when you stand in front of the window, it gets completely white and I thought it was snow. <laughs> just an open window. It is really bright outside. It snowed last night at like midnight, so I woke up and it was fucking snow. And then by the time I got up at like six and like got ready to go out, it was ice. So as I was like walking to the store, wait, can you see me well? No, you can't see my legs. As I was walking to the store, I'm like shuffling, trying not to slide and die on the ice. Oh my God, hi Kim, hi Tanuki, welcome in guys. It's snowing, yeah. Um, I know across the whole country, people are getting, like, residuals of the ice storm, but finally in my area in Washington, we got snow. I think my area, we're not at super high elevation, but we're at, like, medium? I don't know. Okay, and then, I think for this one, because my sister and I went to, um... She used to get factory and she got like a just a herb seasoned salmon and it was pretty good. Now when I season my fish, I don't do it go too crazy. This is about like two small pinches of salt. You ever see like the people who pour into their hands and then they go like this? I think that's cringe. Just get a cap with the holes in it. Salt is crazy good. <laughs> Why? Yeah, this one isn't open. Okay, I have such a bad habit. I have. See them? Oh, yeah, right here, right here. I have like 13 bottles of seasoning. I didn't buy a spice rack, so they're just out on the counter. And if it's not open, like this one, imagine it was actually open and I just dump it. If it's not open, I just put it back. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't open it. Sorry, I think cringe. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on the parsley one. Ah, this is too much. Oh wait, I gotta do the icebreaker question. Sorry, guys, this is a first date right now. Remember, we're RPing, we're RPing. 
Okay, so this article is called 15 Best I Icebreaker Questions for Your First Date. <laughs> so feel free to answer in the chat as well. So, what is the thing you were most excited about buying this year? Hmm. Let's see, I have no money, so I can't really buy anything. Oh, I forgot something! Okay, sorry. Think about your answers and then answer in like a minute. So another trick you can do with fish and salmon in particular, sometimes when you bake it, there's a lot of moisture that comes out of it. Like if, you have, if you've ever baked salmon and like the white goo comes out, um, that's usually what will happen when you have frozen salmon. I mean, it does happen sometimes when you have fresh, but what you can do is you can slice lemons on top of it and it kind of absorbs that flavor and it kind of brightens your fish a little bit. So let's get some lemons cut. Fuck, I do. Oh. Forgot. Because I went to the store this morning just to get strawberries and lemons for today's stream. Yeah, we're chopping up lemon in chat today. Anyway, what am I most excited to buy this year? Um, I think my best purchase so far, even though it wasn't with my money, was the $300 camera lens that I bought when I busted my camera lens is a blessing in disguise. But whatever I'm most excited to buy, you got some tea? Ooh, update! But we'll see you later, Crystal. I'm gonna rinse my lemons. Since I'm making salmon for the kiddos later in the day, I'm just gonna cut them all and then bag. <laughs> Ooh, but what am I most excited to buy? I wanna save up to get another DSLR. Because I would love to have a nicer camera for um, calligraphy. Also, be careful when you're handling knives, okay? Don't point them towards yourself. Um, don't walk around pointing other people. When you're holding items, make sure you're gripping it like this. Don't have your fingers out like this because you're more likely to slip. <laughs> you're most excited to buy a PC17 sub? Guys, I mean, if you get the sub, you can buy me some chocolates today. When you're cutting your lemons, you don't have to get it super thin. Right now I'm doing about one to two millimeters of slice. These are so good. It's been a while since I've had like fresh lemons. Oh, right. I'm cutting straight. <laughs> Figures, right? This knife is so dope. Um, oh, also, you may have noticed that I didn't grease my pan. When we first moved to this new unit, we had to buy essentially everything in the kitchen. The only thing we really had was toaster oven, this water heater, one knife set, and then the microwave. So everything else we had to buy, right? By we, I mean my sister. Um, <laughs> So, this pan, this, not, hashtag not sponsored, but this is a Ninja Never Stick Pan. $20, but it literally never sticks. It's so easy to clean, because in my head, why not pay a little bit more of a premium for a better product, you know? Because we could have gotten pans secondhand or slightly cheaper, but if it'll save time- Okay, this lemon is too small to slice. Do your nails match the dress? Not really. This is a bright red. This is more of like a maroon. I was dressed in Japan. Um, I went to Japan a few years ago for a mission trip. Okay, now we're gonna put the lemons on the salmon. Okay, actually, it's fine. It's fine if I didn't... I don't think... Yeah, you put the seasoning and then the lemons on. Oven's ready. Um, 
So I got this dress in Japan. We went a few years ago for a mission trip with my grandma. And if you've ever traveled to like any Asian country, they don't usually have plus size options. But this is thankfully a triple XL in Asian size or in Japanese sizing fit me perfectly. Yay! And it sucked because they didn't wait, they did have a dressing room at the store I went to, because we went in 2018, yeah, 2018. Our lemons are on the salmon. Our oven is ready. Let's put her in. So since we're only baking two fillets, I set my timer for 15, but I'm gonna check it at 10. I put it on the middle rack, that way you get even heating. So if you put it on the top, it'll burn. If you put it on the bottom, it'll only heat the bottom. Where'd you get the pan from? We got it from um, bedbathingbeyond.com. Because since we moved during Thanksgiving, we were able to get a lot of household things during like Black Friday sales. So even though my sister spent like Ooh, $300 on cooking things. Like, things for the kitchen, I mean. Um, he was still able to save, like, $100. Do you remember the time when people would cook salmon in dishwashers? Was that an online trend? Because I remember seeing a food theory video in my recommended of them testing that. Like, they tried to, like, cook a steak in... What you call it? A dishwasher? I watched the video. I don't like the videos where they do like IRL testing. I like the kind of like more monologue monologue videos that like Game Theory does. Am I gonna put the fish on the other se seasoning on the other fish? No, I put the seasoning on both because the first fish had um, salt and pepper, just you know the basics, and then the second one had salt and then a green, so like parsley and oregano. Okay, so this is prepped for dinner now. Oh, and then I can squeeze this on top, so let's set this aside. Yeah, pay attention, lemon. You ever put lemon in your water? No. I personally don't like citrus too much. I saw this one TikTok post this morning. I've been, dude, I've been getting so many, like, anxiety and depression TikToks, but there was this one person saying, you should keep a bowl of sour candy in your room. That way, whenever you get anxious, you just pop one in. Because since acidity and sour flavors is such an all-consuming feeling, it kind of distracts you when you start to spiral. And I was like, oh, that kind of makes sense. Anyway, enough trauma dumping. <laughs> but no, I don't usually like sour things. Okay, so we have salmon in the oven. Can I do mashed potatoes now? Strawberries are gonna take a while. Did I watch the Super Bowl? No. And I feel so D-O-N because I didn't realize the Super Bowl was on Sunday. And during Sunday stream, we basically did relationship advice with chat. And we had good viewership numbers, but I had less than I thought I would have. And then I was like, oh, it's because the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> so, oopsie. Okay, I think we'll wait to do strawberries until salmon is done. Rena popped off. Yeah, I saw clips. Lemon is always going to be my most unhinged chatter, not going to lie. What was I going to do next? Oh, mashed potatoes. made mashed potatoes from scratch before but I couldn't get them to taste good because sometimes if you don't like mash them enough you still get like little peas or pods of potato and we don't want that on our first date so I'm making powdered mashed potato but honestly it's better than making it from scratch cancel me I have two flavors roasted garlic or four cheese 
I think roasted garlic will complement our salmon more. They're a good deal, yeah. And they take a lot less time too. I'm gonna make the whole package because, okay, <laughs> a while ago I bought like six of these. And on days where I don't feel like cooking, I'll just make a whole package. And the whole package makes a bowl like this big and I will eat all of it. <laughs> I know some people don't like mashed potatoes because of the texture, but I, I personally love mushy foods. Okay, so this says add two cups of boiling water, but I usually add a bit less because I don't like when my mashed potatoes are too runny. So instead of boiling water, what I usually do, cause if you just need a small amount, like a cup or two, I usually get a microwave safe bowl or mug, and then I just heat up what I need in the mic. There's no point in boiling. You can use like one of those water pitchers, but it just seems like too much of a waste. And also with these like um, hot water pitchers, you don't clean them enough, and then you get like, not mold, but um, it gets kind of murky. Mashed potato is so good. I know, it's delicious. Is that Hello Kitty? Yes! Um, my sister and I went shopping during the mall during Christmas time, and I saw this in the back of the store, and I was like, hey, sister. Because I couldn't buy it for her, right? Because I had no spending money, but I was like, hey, ain't this cute? It's specifically a ramen one. It says cup of noodle. Okay, so I'm going to heat up about a cup. I'm going to use filtered fridge water. All the chatter clean that for sweet coming this stream. Yeah, I think they're farming. So that's about a cup. minute 30. I just realized I should have saved the dating questions for when we're eating, right? Okay, nine minutes on the timer, so that means it's been five minutes in the oven. I'm gonna get food. Hear the salmon sizzling in the oven. It looks so good. When I mix things that aren't like fully porous, I usually use a fork because sometimes with a spoon you can't mix as well. You ideally should use a scraper, which is colloquially called a spatula. They're usually rubber, that way you can scrape against edges. Yeah, if we had the second camera, then I could like show you and it could hook up the mic to it, but I can't. Well, okay, you know what I also want to- I want to save up to get like a lab mic. You know the ones that have like the little black clip and then they have like little hip pack? I want to get one of those. That way when we do kitchen streams, they would be like good audio. Okay, that's warm. <laughs> Anybody just stick their finger into their hot tea? Okay, so I'm not going to pour all this in. The directions say to mix and then let it sit. So I'm going to add about half. Oh, also talking about half chatters, we are um, 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you are new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Okay, this needs more liquid. Are there blue accents all around the house? Um, not really. There wasn't much decoration. I I think what I want to do at some point is I want to like make or buy secondhand large canvases and paint art for this unit. Because it will probably stay here for like a year, maybe two. I don't know. 
<laughs> guys are so silly. Oh my god, hi, Mag. Okay, let's add some more water. This is still too dry. Um, but the walls is kind of like a really soft blue-gray, and it's really pretty. Like, a lot of the furniture and the accents in this unit are muted. Kind of cooler. But the wood is also very warm. Like, the wood is like a... Like, see how this is kind of like a reddish-orangey wood? So it kind of contrasts against the blue walls in the house. It's kind of interesting. So they've been in the oven for 10 minutes. I'm going to check on them. I should do the Every time I open the fucking oven, it seems like I'm going to set up the fire alarm. So bear with the fan for a little bit. Five more minutes. I can show... No, I don't want to... Because you don't really want to take stuff out of the oven until it's ready. But it's kind of harder to tell when fish is fully cooked, especially if it doesn't change color. Um, white fishes, they don't really brown when they're in the oven. Um, but salmon, when you take it out... I'll show you what it looks like when it's raw, right? Or I'll compare it when it's done. <laughs> because usually raw salmon is like a kind of medium, darker pink. But then once it's baked, it turns slightly lighter. I personally like a medium rare salmon, but we're gonna go fully cooked today because I don't want to poison my date. I don't want to do that. The mashed potato is done. I want to do something fancy with it. Or rather, I'm gonna try something fancy. <laughs> um, you ever see the videos where they put rice into a bowl? That way it's shaped. I want to try that. But with mashed potato. have like a favorite cup or like a favorite fork or plate this is my favorite plate in the house i'm, I'm weird like that it's like it's microwavable it's fairly flat it has these nice you can't really see it but it has like these engraved accents because like a lot of the tent or a lot of this uh tableware was part of it because the previous tenant left it we didn't really buy any new like plates or bowls but this is my favorite plate <laughs> Because it has like a decent surface area, so you can fit a lot of food up. I'm gonna try and shape my mashed potatoes. Wait, should I oil it? No. It should be fine, right? It's spilled already. How am I gonna get this out, though? I don't think this is gonna work. I should have buttered it. I should have buttered it. You have a cute little flamingo cup? Oh my god, when we were little, so every year for our birthdays, our parents would take us to the Rainforest Cafe or the old or old country buffet. And my sister and I, our parents only got us two Rainforest Cafe cups. And my sister and I would fight over them. I don't I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> I should have like buttered it. I'm so DOM. I can't. Wait, 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 wait. That was actually pretty good. So I just I just ran my knife along the side. 
Like, look, it's actually pretty clean. It kept its shape pretty well. Did I make it into a heart? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do I have a cookie scoop. Am I gonna make a volcano? I thought about it, but I don't like gravy. Or no, I love gravy, but I don't think it'd be good. Maybe I could try and make a heart. Okay, wait. Four, three, two, one. Damn, done. I'm gonna turn the fan back on. Plug your ears. I said earlier the lemon kind of traps the juices that seep out and we're gonna let that cool for a little bit I'm gonna try and make a heart out of mashed potatoes artsy make dry salmon no I would never my idea is I'm gonna make two circles <laughs> that's not right, that's not right. I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm trying to make a heart out of mashed potatoes, okay? This is not easy. It ain't easy. Humbling. Oh wait, hold this. I might actually have it. I might actually have it. Oh my god, I did it. Holy. Everybody's gonna be so impressed. Okay, honestly, how weird would it be to, like, go to somebody's house and cook for them for a first date? I think... If somebody asks you to do that, I think that's a red flag. They're probably gonna, like, murk you or something. did it! Going to somebody's house has implications? Yeah, that means you're gonna bang. <laughs> Which is fun. 
I mean, not like I would know. So mashed potatoes are done. I won't eat these later. I'm not gonna throw them away. Whoa, well, I'm impressed. Are you lying? Because this is honestly pretty cute, right? Type one if you're impressed. Type two if you're hate watcher. <laughs> What's also nice about these ants, see, I'm touching it because I'm crazy, but they honestly cool down pretty quickly. Oh, 1.5? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, wow. Good one, Matt. Good one. <laughs> There's this cute girl in my stats class, and I had so much riz that I gathered up the confidence to say, I liked her hair. Good one. W. Wait, since I'm making lunch for you guys, do I have to make another plate? Okay, which salmon should I plate? Which one? Do I really need to? Fuck. Okay, I'll make another plate. I'll make another plate. Well, you're not gonna have my favorite plate, because this is my plate. Okay, let's make another heart. And I thought I could just do one. Can't let your date starve. True. I guess. I thank you guys for spending time with me today. Not gonna lie, even if, even if I had a Valentine, I'd still probably stream. <laughs> because I think something that really resonated with me was, it was Hassan streaming on like Christmas or Thanksgiving or something. And a lot of his chat was saying, oh my god, thank you for streaming today because I don't have family or I'm not at home right now. And it makes me feel better. And I was kind of in that boat this past year. I didn't really spend Thanksgiving with family or anything, or Christmas either. By choice, by choice. So if I can stream on a holiday, I will. The grind is real? I mean, the grind is only real if you make money, right? Um, if you give me donations, I will eat a chocolate. What if I've been lying this whole time and I'm married? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a funny prank? Next heart is done. Wow, look at how cute. Oh my god, holy moly! Thank you for the five gifted, I was trolling. <laughs> but can we get some whitens in chat? Holy, thank you for the five gifted. Let's see, it went to Cutie Lee, Gian. And lemon, holy, thank you. I would never troll apple, but thank you. Wait, that means I get five chocolates. I'm gonna get fat. Er. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I like. No. I grabbed the wrong box. This one isn't open. I'll open this one. You know what? I can't. This one's for my friend. Okay, I have to grab the other box. Everybody behave. Oh, no. Holy. <laughs> Thank you for that gifted sub goal, Bobo. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now six. Wait, sub goal met? Ain't no way. But thank you. Thank you. Oh, I want a potato. Enjoy the gifted sub potato. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go 
Get the other box, because this one is for my friend that I'm seeing this weekend. Not my secret girlfriend. I wish. Dude, okay. Okay. No way! Oh, wait! Thank you for that gifted sub, Mac. Wait, I didn't even realize. Oh. Everybody stop what you're doing. Everybody stop. We have a hype terrain. If you do not know what the hype train is, let me explain. Oh, can we get some wax as well? A hype train is a five minute window in which you, yes, you watching at home or at work, <laughs> can get exclusive Twitch emotes just by subscribing or sharing bits in the chat room. If you have hype emotes, um, put them in the chat, that way everybody else can see them. Okay, what's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Let's see, what happened modes do I have? Let's see. Or which is my favorite, rather? This one's my favorite because Emmy uses it all the time. Not gonna lie. Holy, we're at 36 subs, guys. Have I peaked? <laughs> I can't. Huh? A prime sub? I'm not out for that, but thank you, West. I appreciate that. Thank you. A rare prime? Huh? Keep up the good work? First time chef? Holy. I feel honored. Thank you for giving me your prime, man. Uh, First time chat, if you have any preferred... Nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Can we get some yo's for West? Thank you. Holy. Also, follow the channel if you're new here. Chatters, follow. Um, if you are new here, if you donate to the channel, you do get your name written in the journal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, can I get my chocolates now? Give me... Um, 30 seconds. Guys, don't, don't count in the chat. That'll get you in trouble. <laughs> but... Okay, I'll write back. I'll write back. Um, type your favorite emote in the chat. Yo, I'm back. Come back? What happened? Oh my god, thank you, Keelan. What? Huh? <laughs> he said 17, come back. Thank you, Keelan, for the five gifted. Holy. Oh, what about Devora? Cool. And Mads. Very nice. But thank you. Thank you. Holy moly. Wait, are we already at 40 subs? Huh? Um, type one if you love high grades. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. Can we get some Wheelins in chat? Oh, wait, um, Keelan. Um, you are eligible for a portrait sketch card. So if you want a sketch card made, all you gotta do is follow my Twitter and send me a picture. Megan's gonna hit that Twitch payout? Yeah, I honestly really need it. <laughs> Um, I need a lift ride to the fucking doctor tomorrow. It's an appointment. It's not the ER. Okay, how awkward would it be to like request like an Uber or a Lyft, and you're like, I need to go to the doctor. I am bleeding out. Like, is that allowed? Can you even do that? I don't know. Bon appetit, hi sinisters. Welcome in, hon. Can we get some peace? I two yos. Welcome in. 
Which payout paying for all my gift subs to channels? I know. It's cheaper than the ambulance? I know. I know, right? So it's like, is it ethical to like request a lift for an emergency? I don't know. It feels excuse me, weird, right? Okay, I gotta eat chocolate now. Okay, it's good that we took the salmon out of the oven because I feel like you guys would have distracted me. Oh my god. How many chocolates do I have to eat? I just realized this is probably a mistake. Let's see, we had 10, 12, 13, holy moly. I'm gonna be like, this later. <laughs> the lift driver might judge you, wait. I have 16 in here. Please don't make me eat them all. Unless Ollie, Ollie, I, I can't eat them all at once, guys. I would die. Here's one. Don't do what you don't want to do. True. Based. Based. You're gonna have to eat the whole box today. Unless we get three more gifted, then I'm fine. I'm in the clear. So thank you guys. All that money will go towards a March's streams. She's never called me base. It's because you're a fucking degen. Okay, let's let's plate up these salmons. These are heat resistant mats. New goal when? Guys, we're going to the moon. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll do another goal. You know, I can't farm you guys too much. We're at 42. Holy moly. Okay. Yeah, the pan is still a little bit warm, but I can touch it and I'm fine. I just can't set it on the table. Ooh, okay. You guys, which one do you We have 10 seconds! Fuck! We have 10 seconds left on the night train! Okay, never mind, it's gone. <laughs> but thank you, chatters. Thank you, everybody who donated. We had a new prime as well. Thank you. Wait, a level 4? Have we ever had a level 4? Holy moly. Oh, wait, so that means since we hit a level 3, that means some of you guys probably should have gotten a new emo, right? Holy. But thank you, everybody. Thank you. I appreciate you all who donated. Even if you're just watching, too. You are great. Tony the Tiger, 2012. You think we've had a level 5? Really? I don't remember. It's also not that I don't care, it's like my memory's bad because my brain is too big, right? I think it's in Drake's in chat for my big brain. <laughs> my paw is perfect. Oh no, another paw? Okay, chat, chat, chat. Do you guys want the regular salt and pepper or do you want the garlic herb? Which one do you guys want to eat? Both? No, you get to pick one. I think you should only share food with people you are close with. So like your family, a partner, or like a really good friend. Because what I'll do whenever I go to eat with like my best friend, we'll order different dishes, but then we'll split. That way we can try them both. Garlic herb? Okay. It's funny because this fillet is smaller too, and you guys have the bigger plate. <laughs> the lift? Yeah, that was the herb one. I was gonna get like, asparagus. That way I can like frame the plating a bit better, but I don't really like asparagus. How many chocolates have you eaten? One. I'll eat another one.
Dude, I'm gonna like get sick. <laughs> but it's good, it's good. Okay. This is my plate. And then chat. Okay, let's get close ups. Okay, should we make dessert now or should we wait? I don't like how I look with a beard. It's fine, you do you, you know? Okay, Chowder, should we make the strawberries now? Let's do a poll. Or should we wait? I'm fine with either. <clears throat> the strawberries will probably take like 15 minutes to make? Probably? I'm kind of leaning towards now. That way we can let the salmon rest for 15 minutes. Everybody vote, 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 vote. Pokemon, go to the polls. Use your democratic right and vote. I personally prefer making it now. But it's up to you guys. Because if we make it now, then we can kind of like eat and then chill. Okay, I'm voting my own poll. Everybody vote, have your voice be heard. This is America. Unless you don't live in America, then... Uh-oh. Okay, we'll do strawberries now. Thank you, everybody who voted. Good job using your democratic right. Okay, you know who has no say in things, though? The non-subs, because chatters... <laughs> we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. But you can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Holy moly, is that Emmy beef in the chat room? Ain't no way. <laughs> Welcome in, Emmy. Can we get some yo's for Emmy? Wait, Emmy, have you ever been here for an ad break? <laughs> Aren't they the best? But welcome in. Happy Valentine's Day. Can I just say, I'm so jealous of Emmy. She has a Valentine, and I can't. I'm jealous. Don't peace I to L, that's so mean. Okay, anyway, anyway, it's ad time, it's ad time. If you want to avoid that ad, subscribe with Prime. It's free, click subscribe. <laughs> See if you have a Prime available. You got so many cute gifts. Yeah, I saw them in your Discord. They're like so perfect for you too. They're so cute, can't relate, yeah. The L is for the non-subs, true. But the non-subs can use the peace I to L emote because follower emotes are free if you follow the channel. Okay, anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. After the ad, we're gonna do strawberries. We're gonna do strawberries. There's more coming. Ooh. Okay, Emmy, not to talk to you directly. Like, I know I haven't been talking as much in your server, but I still read everything. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Or I'll react to stuff sometimes. I just don't feel like talking most days. I love depression. Okay, let's do strawberries. I don't think these are pre-rinsed. Aren't these cute? Discord? Yeah, my, my official Discord is Emmy Beef's Discord. <laughs> uh, these were $10? I don't buy strawberries. I don't know how much they are normally, but look how perfect these are. These are like, they aren't nearly as ripe, but they're perfect. And of course, chat deserve the best. Okay, I don't think these are pre-rinsed, so I'm gonna rinse them and then pop them dry. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh, they got long ass stems. Look. I thought your Discord was private. Uh, yeah. I don't have a server, but I only really use Discord to talk to people. But even then, I, I think the last person I messaged was Christmas. Because, <laughs> so, uh, like, I don't... I feel bad because I know I isolate myself, but then it's also, like, if I talk to people, like, every day or, like, every other day, I'm gonna get, like, mentally drained. You can use the box because it has holes. I never thought of that. Okay, how many strawberries do I need to make? Um, I think this is good, right? Oh, wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Because I've been wanting to make something with, like, a strawberry jam or, like, a strawberry shortcake. Okay, I think I'll save some of these for another time, actually. Ooh, maybe I can make strawberries again this weekend. What are you making? I want you to figure that out yourself, okay? <laughs> what about a weekly check-in chat? I think that'd be nice. I, that sounds really great, Emmy. We'll, we'll have to hold each other to it, though. We'll have to hold each other to it, though. As always, rinse your veggies with cold water. I'm sure, like, you know how people will make the concoctions that will theoretically kill any... Not parasites, but like chemicals in non-organic veggies? I honestly don't care. I feel like everything gives you fucking cancer these days, you know? Okay. You have to make sure the strawberries are completely dry because if hot chocolate touches water, it seizes, meaning it won't melt anymore. Because when we did the cake pops, we six or I successfully didn't seize any of the chocolate. Because when chocolate goes from a drastic temperature change, like if it's melted, so essentially boiling hot, and then it goes to cold, so when it touches water, or even like a room temp container or a cup, it seizes. With Ohio. You know, the more... I go through life. The more I see on the news and the more I hear of things not being covered as they should be on the news, I just don't want to leave my house anymore. Okay, you know the stream or the week where I didn't stream last week? I literally, I literally didn't leave my house. Because I only really go grocery shopping every other week. So, like, the only time I physically left the house was to take out the trash on trash day. Otherwise, I just stayed inside. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. You know, the computer's so fun. Nah, uh, but I've been getting back to, like, my daily walks. That way, I, at least I get some oxygen. But I feel like it's normal to have lapses to where you necessarily aren't as okay as you can be. But whenever you have those moments in your life, it's still important to remember that it's temporary. I know it's cliche that things will get better, but they will. I think it's also important to surround yourself with people who will be supportive. Because I think it's very easy to get comfortable with the people you surround yourself with or the people who choose to talk to you. But you still have to remember that they have to be a good influence on you as well. It's 
bad right now to make up for something really awesome coming up soon. That's so cute and true and real. Oh my god, hi Kimari. Welcome in. I actually need another chocolate. Um, three out of thirteen. Oh, I'm going. <laughs> I hate this, but I love subs. <laughs> I wish I could stay home every day, but I have something to do. I kind of miss the days where I had a job, where you have that kind of consistency. But then, another reason why I don't necessarily want to go into the workforce fully, as you guys know, my brain is too big, so I can't work without accommodations but i actually can talk to my doctor about it because it's like how do you go about requesting accommodations because that always feels kind of weird to me because like you can't necessarily tell your employer what your diagnosis is because that's legally they can't discriminate against you but they will they will if you tell them exactly what's not what's wrong but what is affecting you so it's like how do you even like Go about oh, look, you probably have to talk to like the HR people. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go one more time to just make sure these strawberries are thoroughly dry. We'll use this one for plating. I think another big reason why I don't want to work, even if I can't physically work, I just don't want to be exploited. Because so many like entry level jobs, or even if you work like a cushy office job, they're exploiting your labor. They're either like having you work too many hours, or they're expecting you to work more than you're being compensated. So I don't ever want to put myself into a situation where that'll happen to me again. I think it's also because my sense of self-worth has improved over the past year. I've been out of work for a year and a half. But I feel like I appreciate my time and my value so much more now. I hate that the stems are so long. They're like this so you can dip them easier. And also, when you take the stems off of strawberries, they're only good for so long. Like, if you're gonna dip strawberries and take the stems off, you have to fully dip them. You can't leave them half exposed. Because when you dip them in chocolate, it kind of creates a, like, a coating. So it's kind of like a cocoon to where, like, bacteria can't get in. Okay, strawberries are fully dry. That took two minutes. Oh my god. Guys, I promised if I was working off stream, I'd be working double time. <laughs> now we got milk chocolate. Sorry, I'm eating the chocolate and it's making me salivate. Did you order strawberries for your birthday instead of cake? You do you, but I feel like you gotta get cake on your birthday. Sometimes I'll ask for a pie, but you know, get your favorite. And probably strawberries it might be cheaper than getting a full cake, right? Okay, now we're gonna melt the chocolate. chocolate from the cake pop fiasco and <laughs> it has light pink green and white chocolate shards and then I have leftover white chocolate chips so I think what I'm gonna do is dip all the base into white and then do stripes with the leftover scraps but then I'll just dye it to be more pink to red I've never had a pecan pie. I usually gravitate towards um, fruit pies. I'm just gonna eat one. What is my favorite pie? Hmm. I like blueberry. I think I like darker fruits. I always 
forget how like sweet white chocolate is. Ooh, banana cream is pretty good too. I have some bananas over there. Because um, one of my roommate's mom, she brought over two bunches of bananas and they were green. And now they're just about ready to be made into like banana bread. So I might do that tomorrow. Not on screen, but just in my own time. Okay, let's get to work. chocolates i'm gonna heat them up into mugs because it'll be a lot easier to dip than in a bowl then i'll also need to heat up less as you guys remember from the cake pop ordeal i'm gonna heat up your chips as normal every 15 seconds you mix and to make chocolate a little bit thinner so it's easier to dip and coat we're gonna put a tad of oil. You can use vegetable olive, it doesn't really affect the flavor, it's just mainly gonna affect the texture. And when you're melting chocolate, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're using a metal spoon because the metal spoon will match the temperature of the chocolate. And a plastic spoon would melt. And then a wooden spoon, since, um, like, you know how when you wash a metal, or you wash a wooden spoon and it feels kind of damp even after you dry it fully? So if you do that, it, the moisture from the spoon will get into the chocolate and it'll cause your chocolate to seize. Okay, round one. Microwave the spoon so it'll be warm? No! Bad baking tips with Emmy. <laughs> don't, don't second that. Shit, that was 20 seconds. Uh oh. And now we're gonna take it out and mix. We still have cake pops left over from Christmas. I think we only have like 10 left because my sister has been eating one just about every day since. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, I made 100 plus cake pops for my sister's workplace. I basically catered them desserts for free. But then only 20 of the 100 were actually eaten. So we had to take home the rest and we've been like nibbling on them. probably gonna take about a minute total of actual heating because when you're melting chocolate as it melts all the chips that are touching each other will kind of melt each other as it heats up so that's why it's important you're checking it every 10 to 15 seconds that way you're not overheating it the cake pops are still good yeah because they're good in the freezer for months and then good in the fridge for about two weeks my sister will pull out like five at a time that way she has enough for a week okay this right here is just about the perfect consistency you know there's still some lumps in it but as you stir um the chip will melt each other so this right here, 45 seconds for this amount is perfect. Okay, now we can start dipping. Oh wait, I should dip. Because this is our nice plate. I personally like the look of like a not fully dipped strawberry. Because I like being able to see the red and the green. One. 
This mug is the perfect height, too. Perfecto. Yeah, I personally prefer like a milk chocolate dip and then like a white chocolate drizzle. I think that's my favorite combo. But I didn't want to go out and buy more chocolate. Because chocolate is freaking expensive. I think each of these bags are like five bucks. And this is a 11 ounce bag. And I was like, you know, I shouldn't be buying more baking supplies if I have some, you know? Oh, this Friday we might do cookies. Because my sister, she went to the shop the other day with my roommate. And because she specifically wanted this one type of fruit snack that no other store had beside our the Safeway in the next town over. And they had, like, you know the super fake round cookies that look like Play-Doh? She loves them, so she got a box of those. And it was like a 12-pack. I ate three, but over the course of three days. And she ate, like, eight of them in the course of two days. <laughs> And it was so funny because we were eating dinner last night and my roommate was like, Hey, weren't there, wasn't this full the other day? Because there was only one left. <laughs> my sister ate them all, so he only got one. <laughs> you didn't know the microwave's still open? Yeah, it's okay. I'm not gonna get any radiation. Hey, okay. Did you do self perform Google Forms yet? Yes. We did that on Saturday and Sunday stream. VODs are published. So welcome in, Ethan. She eats that and ramen every day, yeah. And she's so fucking skinny. I'm so mad at her. I thought you were baiting. <laughs> no. You made me turn around! I'm probably gonna need another plate. Oh, wait, I can use this one. One day my Pikachu is gonna fall and I'm never gonna believe you guys. <laughs> Doctor's hater. <laughs> I keep on getting like so many like weight loss supplement ads. And I want to try them. But then I also know for like long term you need to, like, exercise and eat healthy, so it's like, you can't just rely on those, like, laxative-type supplements. And I don't want to be on the shitter all day. Hey, last strawberry. Let me turn so you guys can see. <laughs> Dude, I wish I had the fucking second camera. I don't- it literally worked for five seconds, and then it glitched out. Anybody want to donate $1,000 so I can get a new DSLR? <laughs> I'm kidding, don't do it! Unless... <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, now that we have... our base coats done, we can go ahead and heat up our next round. Now notice! I'm using a different cup to heat up our next round because since these chocolates are room temp and then that one is not like boiling hot it's like in between right so if I were to reheat that cup with the existing chocolate with new chocolate it'll cause it to see because like we talked about earlier when when chocolate touches chocolate that's at a different temperature it affects it consistently so when I, when I say seize seize means pardon Oh, your mom was on weight loss supplements. Oh, I was like, what was your mom on? I was like, are you chomping up? Huh? <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so this is just scraps. What's cool about chocolate? 
is that you can always save it for the next time. These aren't scraps from the previous batch I made. Um, because as long as it gets back to the room temp state, you can always reuse it, and it doesn't affect the texture or the flavor. So this is going to take all day. I just realized I took a great life hack. I'm sorry, Mac. Is that like a. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but like. I wonder how much it affects your like developmental. But obviously, like, it wasn't your mom's fault, right? Because she didn't know. I just realized I didn't put oil in that batch of chocolate, but it's fine because we're not using it for dipping. So this one doesn't necessarily have to be as thin. <laughs> Turns out she was flipping out and went to the doctor and found out. Fuck. I mean, that's why that first trimester when there's a lot of like uncertainty and okay, this chocolate is perfectly heated it's this nice icky gray color so let's brighten it up I hope it didn't mess you up I mean I think you're great Matt Smile. See, that's what I think about too. Cause like, I was in two car accidents when I was a baby. One when I was pre-birth, and then another one when I was like one years old. So, especially with the big brain issue, it's either a birth defect or a result of head trauma. So I'm like, did it happen because I was born this way or because I was in those accidents? It's like, I don't know. I'm gonna add a tad more red because it's not as red as I want it to be. I think I'm also gonna reheat this chocolate a little bit. Just for like 10 more seconds. I'm an idiot, true. Oh, sorry, that was really loud. I was trolling, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Twitch, I'm not bullying. <laughs> no, now you're fine, Titans. You know coding and shit, and I feel like that's some big brain stuff. This isn't thin enough, I've come to realize. Oil isn't hot, so I might have caused this to seize. Oh, no. At least this is my scraps. Oh wait, actually, 
It's thinning out. I'm good. I'm safe. Should I be a pro chef type one? Ooh, this is perfect. Wait, never mind. It's not dripping. It's not. Oh, there we go. There we go. A little bit thinner. Man, this chocolate's gonna taste like oil. Ooh, look at that. Okay, now I gotta be quick and put it into a bag. People don't put scissors back or anything back where it needs to be. Kids, I mean adults. We just act like fucking kids. Okay. Oh shit. Now we're gonna do drizzle. Oh, there was an air bubble. This one's trash. Don't look at that one. Take about 10 minutes, we can set these aside to set. And now we can sit down and enjoy our meal together. probably gonna eat chat share because normally when I have fish I'll have like two fillets but I think fish is one of the easier foods to eat utensils.
And while I'm getting everything set up, if you're new here, um, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to tap and chat. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Shall we eat? So we have my... Salt and pepper seasoned salmon for myself. Then chat wanted to have the parsley and oregano seasoned salmon, so that is for you guys. There is also a lemon in which you can put on your fish if you so desire. are stuck to the plate. Suggest heating them, but that could be a problem. Yeah, they would be up. <laughs> this texture looks kind of cool. It's like a strawberry, like imprint. Kind of cool. I wonder how many streams I missed due to not having notifications on. Probably a lot. But don't worry, VODs are public on Twitch for two months and then on my YouTube channel forever. Exclamation VODs in chat. Let's take a picture for Twitter, guys. That way the Twitter frogs know what we're doing. The tea's gotta wait? Come on. Come on. In the shadow, I hate that. <laughs> we can say crap in here? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Let's tell everybody that we're start. We're officially starting the date now. I have made a lovely meal and dessert for you guys. It's time for the icebreaker questions. so cute though, not gonna lie. Okay chatters, new tweet, new tweet, go like it, go like it. New tweet. Okay, I'm gonna move my mic so it'll pick me up better when I'm sitting over here. Okay, so kind of rude you guys didn't um push my chair in for me. Well let's dig in, shall we? Hi Lemon. Okay, you guys know the drill. We're RPing, we're RPing. Where's the tweet? 
Um, it's a reply to my go live tweet. See, Emmy liked it. Mac, you need to get your shit together. Thank you, Emmy. Okay. This is a first date. We're RPing. Chatters, we're RPing. RP is role playing. So, you know, let's get to know each other. Emmy's a simp? True. <laughs> okay, so first question. Um, if you had to delete all but three apps, which ones would you keep? Hmm. Oh wait, first thing to note, don't eat the lemons that are on the salmon. You can if you want to, but you honestly don't need to. I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous. This is, I feel like we've been friends for a long time, and I think it's nice that we took this, you know, extra step to go on a date together. Um, but three apps that I would keep. I think the apps that I use the most every day are definitely, um, Twitter. I could use Twitter on desktop, but I like the UI of it on mobile a bit more. Um, TikTok for sure, because, you know, I need all that click TikTok clout. The Twitch mobile app is so bad, honestly. I'd rather just, like, watch on desktop. And what's nice is that my headphones, no matter where I'm at in the house, even outside, they can still pick up my, um, my headphones. So I would probably delete Twitch. Hmm. Twitch Mobile is underrated. That is such a bad take. Twitch Mobile is such ass. I, I mean, I didn't mean to swear on our first date. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, these mashed potatoes are actually pretty good. They're fucking cold. I'm freaking. They're cold. <laughs> but they taste immaculate. Compliments to the chef. I'm the only one that said Reddit. Yeah, because you're self reporting. Um, what would be the third one that I keep? Okay, which ones do I use the most? Oh, Messenger! Because that's how I talk to most of my friends. I'd keep Messenger. Okay, next question. I think the Reddit answer is kind of weird to me. That's a red flag, but, you know, I can look past it. Um... Which family member are you closest to? Now, I don't want to trauma dump on our first date, but you know, there'll never be a scenario in which you'll have to meet my parents, let's just say. Don't worry about it, don't stress on it. Don't worry about impressing them, because you'll never meet them. <laughs> Holy fuck. Um. But I think I'm probably closest to my sister. You know, she's quiet, but she's secretly super caring and kind and sweet. She's kind of clueless, but, you know, she's adorable. Did you give us a fork? Oh, you're right. Let me, let me grab you some utensils. fork and knife. The salmon is pretty soft, so I don't think you'll need a knife, but... There you go. Let me tell you how beautiful your kitchen is. Thank you. I'm actually super glad we got this unit when we were applying for it, because the kitchen is honestly so nice. The only thing I wish it had, like, it has decent counter space, but there's not a lot of, like, good storage space to put appliances. And, like, not a lot of space either to like put um, dry goods, so we have like a shelf off to the corner where we keep a lot of dry goods and snacks. Ooh! I cooked this salmon perfectly. It's a perfect medium rare. What's nice about a medium rare salmon is that it's not necess- it doesn't taste raw, but it's- to me it's kind of gummier. But it's not nearly as dry as like a fully baked salmon. Pretty good. It is very cold though. <laughs> what is nice is that since we baked it with the lemon on top, it does give it like a bit more acidity and freshness. Really good. You kind of look like Peace in 17 on Twitch. Are you her? Or do you know her? 
Um, no. That is not me. Um, I told you guys, if <laughs> anybody asks if I'm PC-17 in public, I'm just gonna deny it. Because I'm so scared of somebody leaking. Are you gonna feed us with a fork? No, I think feeding somebody on the first date is mega cringe. With my previous partner, we didn't feed each other. But, um... There was one time where we tried it, and it was just so awkward. We didn't do it in public, because that, I think, is mega cringe. But we tried it at home one time, and it was- we did not like it. <laughs> it's just weird, because it's just making, like, direct eye contact. It's seemingly cute, but no. No. What if it was me that asked? Um... I'd be like, what are you doing in this part of Washington? Because <laughs> Emmy lives a good f ways away from me. I'd be like, why are you in this area? And you didn't fucking tell me. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be fine if Emmy asked because she's a friend. Tell me about your ex on the first day. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. That's, that's not part of the RP. That's not part of it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> See, this is why I've never dated since, okay? I'm bad. You feed your boyfriend chicken nuggets when he's driving? That's honestly cute. That's what my parents do, too. The date got uncomfy? Um, let's lighten the mood a little bit. Um, what would your dream job be if money didn't matter? Hmm. Do you mean in the sense of, like, paying for a college education? Because the American system capitalizes on the idea of education when it should be free if not then you mean like if you make enough money when in society women make less money when they're doing the same job as men um not to be a political anti but i have to make sure you're not a fucking i almost said a bad word <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh no <laughs> Animator? Really? I feel like animation is really difficult to get into. Because I actually studied that. That was my previous major. But, um... Animation is very tedious work, surprisingly. It's not necessarily as artistic as I thought I'd be. But I think my dream job would be... I would love to have my own business. I'm not a libtard, okay? I, I think people should have rights. And I do think the legal age to get married should be raised to 18. But I do love the idea of having my own business. The idea of being able to run my own operations, oversee everything, and be able to work with people who I want to work with, I think is very appealing. Um, my dad, he actually has his own um, office equipment repair business. That he runs, manages, and works himself. And I think that's a very admirable thing. A voice actor I think would be very fun as well. Um, I personally love... Doing, like, voices and characters on stream. I don't go too crazy. But I think voice acting would be fun. You know what I do love? I love... I love reading to kids. Because I used to work at a daycare... And I used to volunteer. And I think it's very sweet whenever you do, like, be a little bit more extra when you're reading to see, like, their eyes light up. Because you can definitely tell that that kid is, like, actually picturing it in their mind as you're reading. And I think it's a very sweet thing. I'm kind of disappointed you guys haven't touched your food yet. Are you guys not hungry? You know what? I'm thirsty. And not for you guys. <laughs> I have this. Instead of like making smoothies, I've been getting like the pre-made juices. And I know they have a fuck ton of sugar. Um, natural sugars, so they're not necessarily as bad. 
as like an actual smoothie. But um, I'm gonna have this. This is Old House Farms Blue Goodness. This has 18% daily fiber in eight ounces. I'm gonna shit my brains out. Sorry. Um, women do not piss or shit. You do not know that because this is our first date. Let's use a fancy goblet. You have no arms. We need to be fed. Um, how about I just eat your food for you? Because I am honestly hungry. <laughs> did I eat breakfast today? I did. I did. Ooh, this smells really good. It smells like blueberries. This goblet is not big enough. I'm saving it for later, but it's it's cold. I can't let it go to waste. You know, that's why we love dating the big girlies. They will eat your leftovers. Are you gonna get us a cup too? Honestly, no. Because washing another fork and knife is nothing, but I, I hate washing cups, so no. I know it'll break the RP, but no, I don't want to wash another cup. <laughs> Thank you for clipping, Emmy. <laughs> Wait, is Emmy the only chatter who can send links? Lamau. <laughs> okay, I have a question for you guys. Do you like eating the skin on fish? I personally love the skin. Even if it's kind of soggy, I kind of like it. I like food that has, like, very easy-to-eat textures. I did test not being able to send funny gifs in chat. You can use your animated emotes. Those are close. <laughs> okay, this question is funny. <laughs> okay, nobody better send me. Nobody better send me. But what is, um, one thing that never fails to make you cringe? Oh, this is really good. I would have to say... People singing in public? Well, I sometimes do that. I don't bust on corners, but I kind of sing to myself as I walk sometimes. Because it's comforting to me. I like how my voice sounds when I sing. But now that I know that you don't like it, I don't really like you as much anymore. You know, we need to save this date. <laughs> No, Potato, don't tell people how to work around the link. Don't do that. The reason why links are banned in chat is so nobody can send adult things. I like when people are shopping and want to sing out loud. You like that? This ain't no Hallmark movie. This is reality. Now, I need to think about my answer. Because there are a lot of things that make me cringe. I would have to say... Shut up, Lemon. If you don't want to be here, leave. You know, you can't be leading me on on our first date. When I went through all this effort for you. I would have to say, it's cringe? When people are being intentionally disingenuous. And the one example I can think of is... I hate the vertical video formats where it's somebody talking to the camera. Because all I can picture, like, is someone just going like this, being super extra, recording a video. All I can think about is... Somebody watching them record themselves. <laughs> and I just think it's so silly. <laughs> That's why, like, for the longest time, 
I thought YouTube content was kind of cringe because it's usually just somebody sitting in the room talking to the camera. But I think stream content is better because there's actual people typing in chat talking with you back. Okay? So I think streaming is less cringe than like sitting down and recording something. Oh my god, YouTube shorts? Yes, I think those are the... Or IG reels? Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, I saw the... <laughs> Okay, the cringiest thing I saw, uh, there was this one video, it was a TikTok, and the caption said, looking for a valentine, and it was just a still image of some guy. <laughs> and that was the whole video. <laughs> I wanted to send it to somebody, but the video had zero likes, zero comments, zero saves. And like, when you save or share a video, sometimes the creator gets notified, so I didn't want to share it because they would know I saw it. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Um, I've noticed you guys haven't touched your food. Maybe you can share. You guys can share, right? I'm also really fucking hungry, okay? So, the salt and pepper one was pretty good. Pretty delightful. But I'm looking forward to this parsley seasoned one. Did you already read the Valentine's advice? Yes, we did that on Saturday and Sunday streams. VODs are published on Twitch for two months, and then YouTube forever. So if you want to watch it, Rainy, it's on my video tab. But welcome and give it get some yos for Rainy. I don't share, but I just took it from you. You know, you guys let me take it from you, so it's your fault if you didn't take it back. <clears throat> I watch the VODs because I'm cool. Um, type 1 if you're a VOD watcher. You cutie? Oh my god, Rini's hitting on me. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, awkward that Rainy's here. <laughs> but, um, if you hosted a podcast, what would it be about? Awkward. <laughs> um, controversial. But, um, sorry, cringe. My mom just texted me. Ew. Hate that. <laughs> sorry, sorry, fuck. Um, anyway, ignoring that. <laughs> um, if I hosted a podcast, the answer is I would never host a podcast. You know why? I think podcasts is some of the most egotistical content you can make. Because you expect somebody to sit for hours, possibly, and listen to you talk. I think it's also different if you have an established audience versus if you don't have a platform. And if you make a podcast and you don't have a platform, then nobody gives a fuck. And when I think of podcast, I think of the fucking, the dumbass right-wing people who are saying you should eat that ivermectin. That's all I think about. There's not many good, because when I think politics, I think podcasts. Because podcasts are the most digestible content, and since a lot of people listen to it in the background, it's very easy to them to get conditioned into what you are thinking. That's why I personally don't listen to any podcast because I don't want to subconsciously change my mind when I hear just one opinion. That's why it's important to get all your news source and media from different sources. You know, just because I'm a fucking leftist doesn't mean I don't watch right-wing media sometimes. You need to understand both perspectives in order to formulate your own opinion. <coughs> It's hard thinking your words are worth anything. I think there's a difference between like outward appreciation and then also your inward appreciation. So you still have to understand that you have your own worth and merit, even if other people don't see it. Even if you have to feign confidence sometimes, if that'll work, go for it. What kind of podcast are you listening to that is changing your mind? <laughs> it's not that it's changing my mind. 
it's that I think podcasts are bad because it's long form media. So it takes up more of your time. So it takes away time from looking at other sources of media. And since a lot of podcasts are very like niche, it's very hard to for one to change their mind out of that niche mindset. And I only mean in the sense of like political podcasts, not entertainment. Entertainment podcasts are fine. Like, you know, like the true crime ones or like gossip ones, that's fine. Because that's purely entertainment. American politics has become entertainment when it should be about ideology. I listen to baseball or basketball podcasts and I argue with the people in my mind. Dude, you are such a parasocial viewer, man. Oh my god. I hate the podcast where they take men and women and they make them argue. Yeah, because it villainizes women inherently. Cough, cough. Fresh and fit. Oh my god, hi, Chip. Can we get some B-side to use for Chip? Welcome in. I like therapy podcasts. If I started listening to therapy podcasts, I would probably like be way too sad every day. <laughs> if I need to do podcasts, stress me out. They bother me too because I'm very opinionated. I'm vocal on some things, but some things I'm also kind of passive on. And if it's something that I don't agree with, I'm just not going to listen to it. Um, if it's like a short clip, then I'll watch the clip. But I'm not going to sit through an hour podcast if it's something that I will never agree with. That's why I hate when my favorite streamer, Hassan, does like Joe Rogan reacts. I click off the stream because I'm like, I can't fucking handle Joe Rogan. I can't do it. Because Joe Rogan is just fucking brain dead, okay? He's, he's D.O.M. I just like things that help me be better. Oh my god, that's so cute. This one is better. I like the flavor of the parsley and oregano salmon more. I think it's because you can see it's like green. It's covered in seasoning. I like this one a lot more. Usually when I season my salmon, I either season it like this, so like parmesan oregano, or I'll put salt, pepper, a little bit of onion powder. That's usually my go-to combo. Joe Rogan's a meathead? Yeah, it's because he got stuffed with an ivermectin. Like a fucking dumbass. Okay, enough about that. You know what I really want to talk about? You know what I really want to do? Run some ads. <laughs> because, guys, why isn't the command working? What the fuck? Um, guys, <laughs> why isn't it working? Uh, we are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad previewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. Yeah, I don't know why my command isn't working, huh? Is stream elements busted? Okay, the secret command is working. Oh, there it is. Um, sub for free with Prime or five bucks, easy. If you subscribe, I'll eat a chocolate. Oh, fuck. I have like, I have nine more chocolates to eat. Okay, anyway, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Are you heading out, Chip? Okay, we'll see you later, hon. Thank you for popping in. <clears throat> I forgot it was my best friend's birthday yesterday. Honestly, bad friend. Peace out to L. You say it like it's bad? What? Say what? What did I say? Am I gonna get cancelled?
I do like how the lemon brightens it a lot. Can't add some more. This <laughs> should be canceled for real mods. Cancel Keelan. Imagine one day when I say ban so and so and I actually do it. I think that would be a sad day. Oh, there's a bone in here. Nice. Okay, um, next question. I think we should kind of stray away from politics, because I don't think we should talk about that on a first date, but... What is your favorite season of the year? Now, I'm an enjoyer of art. And I think the most beautiful time of year is the fall time. Because seeing how... The whole environment changes. And seeing all the leaves go from green to red to brown. I think it's beautiful. And also, from an artistic point of view, the subconscious attraction you have to contrasting colors. That's why seeing, like, the red and orange leaves against the blue sky is inherently prettier. And I also like how brisk it is. And it gives me a reason to wear layers. And if you're a big girly, you know that layers are your best friend. Winter because I have problems? Are you trauma dumping on our first date? You want a sip of juice, not wine. Wait, you guys want to see the wine bottle I opened? Okay, I told this story last week. But... <laughs> the cork is still in there. Because <laughs> none of us in the house drink alcohol and I needed wine for a recipe. So we don't have a wine opener. So I use the key method. So I put the key in. And then I pushed too hard, and then the cork fell in. <laughs> drink it. Because it's not a good idea to smoke or drink if you have, like, anxiety. Because it usually worsens it over time. So Megan's never gonna drink. Do many people even call it Autumn? I feel like the people who want to impress others say autumn. Yeah, I agree. I think spring is nice. Just going from like the dead of winter to see a little bit of life rising up your day is fine. What do I think autumn? I think also really like, or why do you say autumn? I think fall. Because it reminds me of like going back to school and seeing all my friends and stuff. It was during summertime when I was in school. I didn't really want to, like... I don't know. I wasn't really allowed to, like, hang out with friends and stuff. So... School time was the only really time I could see people. Outside of family. Um... Enough trauma dumping. What is something you love doing? Now, if you say your mom on a first date in response to this question, then you're a memer and I think we'll get along very well. But, it is still very rude to say, so don't say it. But I think out of everything in my life now, your dad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of how my life has changed since we've moved. And thinking about my day to day, something that I really enjoy doing. Call me corny. But I'd have to say something that I love doing and that is the most rewarding? I can think of two things. I think of cooking, like we did today. I think being able to provide for somebody 
And because I think cooking is a very kind thing to do. And it obviously requires some semblance of skill and preparing. And it takes time to get good at it. And I think it's very rewarding to see you get better over time. Like, I've gotten better at, like, seasoning. I've gotten better at, like, being more efficient in my workspace. And it's so cute because whenever I cook in the evening, that's when one of my roommates gets home. And they come to the kitchen and they're like, ooh, what are you making? And they're like, ooh, it looks so good. <laughs> and it's just so cute. Um, the one thing that does annoy me so much is that whenever I make something, my, my, I ask them like, oh, how was it? And my one roommate will be like, oh, it's great. And then my sister will always say, it's okay. And it makes me so mad. I don't say anything, but in the moment, I'm like, just okay? Like, <laughs> it's better than okay. Like, come on. I think the second thing, call me corny. You can put your kappas in chat. But I've really come to enjoy streaming. And I think it's very different than how it was when I first started. Because when you start from nothing and you stream to zero viewers for months on end, I think you grow to appreciate the people who enjoy what you do and choose to spend time with you. And I am honestly really glad that I didn't try any strategies or techniques to like pop off quickly. Even though I'm very small, I have a very um, small audience. But I feel like most everyone who watches regularly, even if you're a chatter or a lurker, I feel like a lot of people are like actively engaging. To me, it's validating because it makes me feel like you guys want to be here. You want to spend time with me and everybody else chatting or watching. And it's very cute. I think when I've gone through so much of my life um, being isolated, whether it be like by circumstance or by choice, it's nice knowing that there are people who like my presence. Um, I think a big thing for me was when we streamed on Christmas Eve, I wasn't sure if people were going to watch because it's a holiday, right? It's Christmas Eve. But we had... I think that was one of my streams that had the most unique viewers. Unique viewers meaning how many individual people click on the stream. Um, and we had a lot of people come in to stream that day. And it was just a reminder that... You know, no matter what I do or when I stream, people will want to spend time with me. Sorry, this music is very, like, touching. <laughs> being on Twitch is kind of a red flag. Shut the fuck up. You're a Twitch chatter. I think being a Twitch chatter is ten times worse. I myself am a Twitch chatter, okay? Talking about being a streamer on a first date. I mean, it's practically... Streaming is a big part of my life and my day today. It, I think about it a lot. Because I think about, like, ooh... What jokes or bits can I plan for the next stream? Or like, what are we gonna do later this week? It's a very all-consuming hobby. Oh, look at that! My second fillet is done! You guys haven't even nibbled or taken a bite! <laughs> I can say that the salmon was delicious, The next question is, <laughs> what is the worst idea you've ever had? I don't think you guys should share that. <laughs> um, what's the worst idea you've ever had? Okay, I'm genuinely trying to think. I can't think of anything horrible. Oh, okay. Recently. When we were moving, I propped up a plank against my bed frame. 
and it wasn't level, so it fell on my head. So I think that was a bad idea. Um, another one, wearing socks on the staircase. I, I, every time I wear socks, I feel like I'm gonna die. From falling down the stairs, of course, not anything else. Okay, let's put these aside. I think it's time for dessert. Now, I have prepared these lovely chocolate dipped strawberries, fully set. You're stuck to the plate again. Oh, that one's loose. This one is perfect. Here, let's go. Wait, did we do close-ups of the strawberries? Now, I know that we're eating dessert now. So I assume this date is nearing its end. I know I've enjoyed spending the time so far, so if you have anything to say, I would say it now. Any confessors? <laughs> okay, let's see how this is. I feel like the white chocolate is gonna be is gonna be like extremely sweet. But these strawberries aren't ripe at all. What I do like about the chocolate that has more oil in it is that it's shinier. It's glossier, it's nice. Yeah. First bite! <laughs> Dude, I love the smosh. What was it called? What were those videos called where they, like, ate stuff? Lunchtime with Smosh? Is that what it was called? A first bite. The strawberry is really ripe. It is really good. But the white chocolate... Because since white chocolate is oil-based, in general, for me it always leaves like a film on your tongue for a little bit before it like fully melts. It's good! But I think I would make this with milk chocolate next time. Next year, Meg Esports will set aside more money for February. And we will make proper chocolate strawberries. Oh, really good. I don't think I've ever made chocolate strawberries. I don't think I've ever received chocolate strawberries either. I want to have like a real Valentine's Day. Not gonna lie. I like to say that I don't like gifts too much. Like when we did the love language quiz, but after seeing so many people like receive gifts, I'm just like, I kind of want that. I think it's more so I want somebody to care for me in that way. But you know, it'll happen. One day. What did my quiz say in like two years? <laughs> it'll happen. These strawberries are so juicy. I haven't had a strawberry in so long. I think this batch is worth the $10. <laughs> really good. I think it's also been a while since I've had like fresh fruit. Because I've only been really getting like the fruit smoothie drinks. And I don't usually buy produce unless it's for like a meal prep. Cause I know if I bought like fruits for snacks, nobody would eat it. Myself included. Cause like we have a whole shelf full of like dry good snacks. That was good. 
Should I have another one? I have nine more chocolates I have to eat. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well. I have enjoyed the meal I have prepared. I hope you guys enjoyed the meal as well. Even though you didn't have any, I hope you enjoyed the looks of it. Eat them all to impress us on your first date. You know, I don't want to be called a glutton. And my stomach is already pretty full. <laughs> and based on how some of you guys answered, I don't know if I want a second date. <laughs> that doesn't mean you should not come back. No, no, you should watch every stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't what face me, guys. You know, we talked about this before. You have to be honest. You can't leave people alone. Because, you know, you can't force yourself to fall for me when there's so many other people in this world. I, I promise I'll eat these later. I honestly want more of the mashed potatoes. Not gonna lie, because there's a whole half a bowl left. But I'll save these for my roommates and myself later. Okay. So. I would like to thank everybody. For coming to my. Valentine's Day. Day. Um, it was very fun. I think. <laughs> I know we weren't doing full RP. But it was kind of funny though right. <laughs> Uh, stream isn't over yet, don't worry, because we do get to do calligraphy, because we had a lot of oilers today. So don't leave. Are we getting rejected? Unfortunately, yes. I'm sorry, but I think we must find other people. My hands are so, like, chocolatey. Rejected on my first ever date. Well, at least you have a date, right? <laughs> oh my god. Did you eat all the chocolate? Shut up. Titan said, don't do what you don't want to do. And I don't want to eat nine chocolates. <laughs> I'm being honest. If I eat all nine right now, I will throw up. And getting throwing or throwing up on stream is TOS. And then I'll get banned, and then you'll never see me again, because they rarely unban small streamers. So pick one. I don't eat the chocolates and I live my life happily. Or I eat the nine chocolates and I actually throw up. No, I would if I could, but we'll save them for another day. Cause since I already ate the salmon. Strawberry. I don't think I can handle more chocolate. That does not mean you should not donate. You should still donate. <laughs> Any Oilers? I think we can do calligraphy now. So, if you are new to the channel, you can use your channel points or donate to the channel and I'll write your name. We had a good handful of people donate and subscribe today. So, let's go ahead and do calligraphy. I am so full. I should have had a smaller breakfast. Because this morning I made fried rice and then eggs. It was very good. Wait! Oh my god! What is this? Holy 
a mole? Are those sketch cards? Ain't no way. If you get five subs, you will get a custom sketch card. Right now, we have two people eligible for this month. Um, I think... Because I'll have time to stream tomorrow morning, probably. So I think I will do January sketch cards and then follower journal calligraphy on tomorrow or next week. It depends on how I'm feeling tomorrow morning. So make sure, cough, cough, Mac, Titans, Nix, that I get your pictures tonight if you want your card drawn in time. <laughs> Where'd they go from? <laughs> Ain't no way! <laughs> Being rejected won't stop me from getting my name in the journal. I mean, isn't that kind of like what you do with your crushes? You write their name over and over again? So it's kind of like that, right? Oh, you guys can actually see all my pens. I have so many. Like, this is my gel set. If, if you want to know what pens I'm using, exclamation pens in chat. I'm not sponsored. Guys, when I, when I get clouded enough, the only sponsor I'll take will be art supplies. Because I think that would be good. Okay, so let's do Euler's names first. Also, gentle reminder, we are basically another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you follow the channel, we will be doing follower calligraphy probably next stream. Then you'll get to see your name written for free. Am I missing the number one red? Well, should we change our title? Nah, we'll keep the title. Feel like if you won't take that long. today. I wasn't sure how today was gonna go, but it was still fun. I want to do more cooking streams. I, I don't want to commit to like like every week or every other week, but I do definitely still want to try do like a Cooking Mama series. I think once I have more spending money every month, then I can kind of afford to like prep and buy more specific ingredients. So maybe my summertime. Because my goal is during March is to work on my art website, exclamation art in chat to follow my other social media. Um, that way I can start selling in April. That is my goal. 
Because I was looking into, like, what t what type of paints I can buy in bulk and stuff. And I was reading. Uh, we had West. Two, 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 two. <laughs> Sub with Prime. I appreciate it. Um... But you can, like, you can paint with house paint. The only real thing it affects is once it dries, it's not necessarily gonna work as well on, like, a stretched canvas because when paint, when house paint dries, it's more brittle. So you, you would have to paint on, like, a flat surface, like a mural or, like, a canvas panel. So where it won't stretch or warp over time. Because, like, you can buy an 8-ounce can of paint from Home Depot for like five bucks. And that honestly isn't that bad because for like just a regular 2D painting, you don't need a, a, a lot of paint typically. So I think during, no, I'm not gonna write poop. Mods ban Emmy, holy. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? I thought you were a good chatter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How is poop not a banned word? What the fuck? <laughs> Mods, add that to the list. <laughs> okay. When I watch other streams, I watch how they, like, moderate a chat sometimes. So, <laughs> I'll look up, like, oh, I should add that word to my banned word list. <laughs> so, the other day, I... <laughs> I was watching Squeaks' stream, and... I was like, oh, I need to add a lot of words to my banned word list after watching his stream that I never thought of. Holy. Oh, but anyway, so I'm gonna try and see if I can paint with house paint. Because it'll be cheaper, and then I don't necessarily have to, like, mix colors all the time if I have, like, a, an 8-ounce bottle, right? Oh no, this pen is dead! <laughs> no... No, it's alive. So during, like, um, March, I'm gonna try and make, like, smaller paintings to test out how house paint will work. Because I know it also, like, acts differently than how, like, acrylic or oil paint will... will work. Is that the right word? I'm gonna show all the names on in a close-up at the end. So don't worry. I'm also just stalling. <laughs> I'm also trying to figure out how to streamline my painting process because since I've decided I'm not gonna sell originals, I'm gonna keep the originals. And then make replicas, not prints, because prints is when you send them to like a, a print shop and then you just get like a 2D flat image printed onto a canvas. I'm gonna make actual replicas, so basically I'm just gonna repaint the original, but like five times. Um, so I'm gonna be prepping and making replicas during the month of March, that way I can sell up to five of any original painting that I have. And then every month... My goal is to have two new originals. And then also have those replicas made every two weeks. And I think that's the best way to, like, streamline the process. Because I know some people were saying, back when we did painting streams, they're like, Oh, I like that one, but then multiple people would like the same painting. So instead of just selling one, I'll make several. That way, even if there's still, like, a limited amount of replicas, they're still gonna have value because there's only, like, five. So that is my plan for March. Because I think the biggest argument to selling prints is that it makes your work more accessible and also there's more available. But I think... Having prints will never be nearly as good as 
having the original painting, especially if it's like a 2D print of a 3D painting. And by 3D painting, I mean not that you should touch paintings, but if you see a painting in person, you can see like the individual brush strokes. You can see the texture that's not necessarily going to be fully emulated with a 2D print. So there may come a time to where I do offer prints, but that's not what I want to do. I also feel like it kind of diminishes the value of your work. Because selling prints is inherently capitalist. <laughs> like you're only selling prints to make money. And I don't think, for me, that's what I want to do. Call me a stuck up egotistical artist, but... I think the idea of having a replica that is actually physically painting is a lot more meaningful than having a 2D print that's someone in a factory wrapped up for you. I think it's also because I, I care about things too much. Even when I buy something from, like, the dollar store, I always think about, like, the time and effort it took, like, designing the product, the actual production. I think everything has meaning behind it. What song is this? Let's say... Let us say... This is Light of the Moon from Xenoblade Chronicles. Also, if Emmy's still in chat, I will give you that painting, the pastel pink one, for free. You can have it. But I gotta make a replica first. I'll give it to you if I ever see you. My god so yesterday i thought i was gonna get in so much trouble because i posted a tiktok clip and as you guys know if you're a regular real you know a lot of my tiktok clips are literally from six months ago because i'm that far behind on editing vods right um but the most recent clip that i posted yesterday was talking about how millennials culturally ha are valid for their concerns and worries about society um, because, you know, they grew up in a time post 9-11 under a surveillance state and also like where mass shootings are very prevalent. Um, there was one in MSU last night and it's very sad that a lot of young people live in the constant fear of getting gunned down in their schools. And also it's kind of interesting how it's becoming more normal for radicalized people to target religious institutions, areas in which there's more minorities. Or even your work fucking workplace. It's very scary how that is normal. Right? And that's what the clip was talking about. <laughs> but in the clip, <laughs> I said, you know, um, the previous generations like the boomers don't necessarily understand because they didn't grow up in a time of war. So boomers are like from the 60s to like 70s, right? Or 60s to 80s. And then I got, I got two comments right away <laughs> that were basically like, huh? They didn't live during war? And then they listed like Vietnam, um, Iraq and stuff. And I was like, shit, you are right. But when I, in the clip when I was saying not in a time of war, I meant domestic conflict. 
because a lot of American foreign interests and wars, America inserted themselves. It's not like we were fighting wars on our in our country domestically. Right? Like, no civilian lives in fear in the daily of getting fucking drone striked. That's what I meant. Like, no one necessarily fears for their livelihood living in the States. Anyway, so I thought I was gonna get in a lot of trouble for that clip. I was like, fuck. So after, like, two people pointed it out, I clarified in a separate comment. I was like, that's not what I meant. I meant domestic conflict. <laughs> Because what I noticed on TikTok recently is that um, I've been getting a lot of non-followers liking or commenting on my TikToks, and it's interesting. Because what will make a new person comment on a TikTok that they don't know the personality of on screen? But I think that just means people are going to be more brazen in my comment section, which is fine. But I gotta, like, prepare for it. I spelled lemon wrong. I was gonna write lemon instead of ice lemon vanilla. Okay, chatters, we're moving on to channel point names. So if you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your channel points. And I'll write your name for free. And I posted the same clip on YouTube, right? And I got no comments on it. Because <laughs> you know how crazy YouTube comments can be sometimes. I usually get a fucking, like, dumbass libtards in them. But surprisingly, I didn't get any. But I saw this one TikTok the other day, and it was specifically from an account that is marketed as, like, a, a social media TikTok help account. Um... I don't usually- I don't follow those types of accounts because, like, it's obviously meant to farm engagement, right? But I still will sit and watch through a video if I feel like it has merit. And the guy was basically explaining how the TikTok algorithm has changed to where you can't necessarily do trend com content. So, like, audio sounds or, like, a video concept idea as a trend and expect to pop off anymore. His basic takeaway was... You have to make meaningful, engaging content that has, like... That is beautiful and has effort. And I was like... Ain't that how it's always been? Because <laughs> I feel like people... Even though society still kind of shits on creative people. And you know, like, just like your parents probably won't like that you're in art school. But so many normal people admire creatives. Like, look at celebrities. Look at designers. We all idolize those figures. So I think that's why when I was posting my art speed painting videos on TikTok, they had really good um, like and view ratios. Because to me, the monologue that I write and then narrate over the painting that I make is meaningful content. It has effort, takes 10 hours painting and recording and writing. And I think people see the merit. And I think that's why those two videos did so well. I'm talking about art, exclamation art in chat. Go follow my TikTok, please. I'm getting new pens. I don't think you can expect to make shitty throwaway content and expect it to, to do well anymore. I know my personal, like, content that I post on the Peace and Clips account is not necessarily throwaway content. It's still clips from stream, so I, st I still think they have, like, meaning behind it. But anything that I talk about in Eclipse has substance. It's usually me doing commentary on a topic or telling an anecdotal story, so it still has meaning. I remember the first comment I left on your TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna comment that too, because, like, I think it's so funny 
whenever I do get comments like that, Keelan, to where it's just them talking about the actual gameplay. It's just funny because who's watching me for the fucking gameplay? I'm not a gameplay streamer. I feel like out of everything, I'm commentary based. Okay, that was our last name chatters. If you want me to write your name, use your channel points or donate to the channel. That was our last name. Let's get some close ups. Yeah, the, the rainbow looks so good on camera. Okay, last call, chatters. Last call. Five. If you want me to write your name, last call. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay, so. I think that ends it. Um, I would like to thank everybody for hanging out today. Pink, fuck you, man. Oh my fucking god. I'm really mad. <laughs> nobody knows for me. Nobody do it. Nobody do it. Yeah, everybody sneaky. Everybody laugh to yourselves. It's so funny. It always sends low, really? Gotta type faster. I will sing a song? Ooh, I don't know if I want to do that today. sound good on this mic okay 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 chat okay i will vocalize for a second let me get closer <clears throat> let okay let's see tell me if this sounds good or not okay ready if this sounds bad then we'll sing a song tomorrow okay i'm just gonna sing one line what do you want from me? What do you want from me? How does that sound? If it, not, don't criticize my voice. I'm just trying to see, does it sound good with this mic? Don't vibe. I, if it's good or bad, I need to know. It sounds good? Okay, another chatter needs to verify that it sounds good. I don't, I don't believe Kobobo. They've lied to me many times. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Yeah. Plain to see. Yeah, that wasn't the song. Oh my god! I almost played it. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you, Tanuki. Okay, we'll sing a song. We'll sing a song. Um, Chatters, if you want to see previous singing clips, I do have a playlist on my YouTube. Go subscribe. I'm going to sing. I did sing one verse from it just now. But it's called What Do You Want From Me by Adam Lambert. I'm, I'm thinking if I want to do the first or the second verse. Maybe I'll do both. Dos Equis. No, that's not... Dos Equis is the alcohol. <laughs> I was thinking of the... You know, the tortilla commercial? It was like soft or hard shell. 
Okay, I think I'll do the first verse and maybe I'll skip the chorus and then I'll do the second because we're farming. Okay, ready? If everybody could do your favorite animated, your favorite hype emotes, I'd appreciate it. Dude, my table is so cluttered. Look, rainbow. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm stalling. <clears throat> hey, slow it down. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Yeah, I'm afraid. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? There might have been a time when I would give myself away. Oh, once upon a time, I didn't give a damn, but now, here we are. So what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Okay, the second verse. Yeah, it's plain to see. The baby, you're beautiful, and there's nothing wrong with you. Yeah, I'm a freak, but thanks for loving me, cause you're doing it perfectly. There might have been a time when I would let you slip away. I wouldn't even try, but I think you could save my life. Sorry. I know we don't stream in the kitchen usually, but it sounds so nice when I sing down here. The echo goes crazy. Oh my god. I thought I sounded fucking beautiful. Stop smiling. <laughs> Stop smiling. That was so good. Thank you. I think that was the best I've sung in a long ass time. Because I haven't heard this song in forever and it came up by my recommended the other day. Or it was yesterday when I was coming home from the grocery store. I think the last line where it's like, this part is so nice. I'm going to scoot away a little bit. I'm going to do it one more time because I just want to do it. <clears throat> there might have been a time when I would let you slip away. I wouldn't even try, but I think you could save my life. Oh, it, it's like, it's such a nice verse to like just belt out. It's it's so fun. Oh my god. I, I was gonna say that's the best I've heard from you. Oh my god, why is this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot the autoplay was moving and a different song came up. Oh, it's so nice. I think it, it's uh, very easy to sing because the way he vocalizes, it's almost like he's saying instead of singing. But damn, that was fucking good. I feel great right now. Okay, let's end stream. <laughs> Guys, let's end stream. <laughs> I have so many dishes to do. Okay, so I would like to thank everybody for watching. If you are a real peace in underscore 17 fan, you'll follow my offline socials. I have a Twitter, TikTok, and an Instagram. Go follow all three. Do it. Um once again. Thank you to everybody who donated. I need to eat nine chocolates. I think we'll we'll just sprinkle the nine chocolates over the next few streams, okay? Okay. I'm not gonna do them now. I will yak. Um, so if you watch this far and you aren't following, follow the channel, please. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. If you're already following, make sure your no notifications turn on that we don't miss a single stream. And I know Twitch notifications can be kind of funny, so make sure you're following my Twitter. I usually do go live tweets whenever I go live. So, I will see you guys when I see you. I think my next stream might be tomorrow. Depends on how I feel. But if I stream tomorrow, I will do calligraphy for Follower Journal and sketch cards for January. So make sure if you haven't sent me pictures, I need pictures. Um... Keelan, since you gifted five today, your sketch card will be drawn in March. So you don't need to send me a picture just yet, man. Um, I'll be watching just to see you eat my chocolates. Fuck. But you know, that's a guaranteed viewer. Okay. Um, I had a lot of fun today. I didn't know how today was going to go, but that was actually pretty fun. Hope you guys had a good time as well. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys later follow my twitter follow my twitter please
I hope you guys had fun. I had a lot of fun today. So. Bye-bye. Wait, I gotta turn the music back on. Cringe. <laughs> okay, now it's just me and the subs. Anything you guys want to say? <laughs> this dress is actually pretty comfy. Surprisingly. I would wear this out. Thanks for the stream for sure. Thanks for hanging out today, Tanuki. I know you're in the UK, so it's probably a bit later for you, but thank you for hanging out, man. Also, uh, if you guys have ideas what we should do for the next tournament, tell me in chat next time. I kind of want to do fire, but I feel like that would make everybody angry. But that's like the kind of only item mode we haven't done. 10 out of, or 11 out of 10, holy. I'm glad to see you again, Lemon. It's been a hot minute since we've seen you. We also saw Potato today. It's been a while since we've seen them. Honestly, screw school. If nobody had school, everybody would watch, right? Smile. I meant fireballs, like, you know, Mario Kart, of course. <laughs> Don't peace I too smile to fire, come on. Still mad about being rejected? Like I said earlier, you'll find somebody. Okay, you'll find somebody. Wait, we didn't get an update from Crystal. Where's Crystal? We need the drama. Rick, man. I mean, today was a shorter stream. I, I thought we'd only go for two hours, but we went for two and a half, basically. No hydrate? Okay, the reason why I don't have a Hydra Redemption is because I usually drink a lot on my own, and then people spam it, and it's annoying, and it's cliche. Literally, everybody has a redemption. Don't you want me to be original? How many streamers have a calligraphy redemption, okay? I gotta stand out. Okay, I might stream tomorrow. If not, I for sure will stream on Friday, guys. I will see you all later. I hope you guys had fun today. I know Valentine's can be... <laughs> I know Valentine's can be a difficult day for some people, so I hope hanging out with me felt made you feel better. I know it made me feel good and great. Um, yeah. Okay, bye-bye. Ending stream.